Welcome to another broadcast of The Infidel. The news for all of us who have supposedly chosen hell over heaven. The news for the damned. Forget the epidurals. Women are supposed to suffer during childbirth. According to Steve Anderson, pastor at the Faithful Word Baptist Church near Phoenix, Arizona, women should not be given epidurals during childbirth, but should suffer because God demands it of them. During a recent sermon, Pastor Anderson preached, Unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. So as a result of this curse, because of her sin, her punishment is that her sorrow is going to be multiplied. God said he's going to multiply her conception. Basically, she's going to conceive more frequently, is what it sounds like, and it's going to be more sorrowful. The pastor believes it's no accident that women experience pain while giving birth, and that it was planned and ordained by God. He did admit that his comments sounded offensive, but that it was the truth. He concluded by saying, I'm up here preaching what I believe, okay? And I've been reading this book for a long time. Kansas House Speaker asks God to harm President Obama. Christianity has a very little known type of prayer called an imprecatory prayer. Psalm 109 is often used to illustrate the supplication of a person who asks God to kill, maim, curse, and send into eternal damnation or harm an enemy in any way God sees fit. As incredible as it may sound, in a recent email distributed to colleagues, Kansas House Speaker Mike O'Neill said such a prayer for President Obama. Speaking of imprecatory prayers, he wrote, At last I can honestly voice a biblical prayer for our president. Although Speaker O'Neill has denied any intent for Barack Obama's death, 21,000 people have signed an online petition demanding his resignation. This is not the first time Psalm 109 has been suggested for the president, as t-shirts and various merchandise have previously been sold that proclaim people should say such prayers for him. As for Mike O'Neill, people are getting used to his offensive comments. For example, as he previously emailed people, a picture of Michelle Obama referring to the First Lady as Mrs. Yo Mama. Is Satan misleading religious leaders? According to a recent survey published by LifeWay Research, Protestant preachers obviously believe in creationism, but some of them think the Earth may be older than 6,000 years. Ken Ham, of Answers in Genesis fame and founder of the Creation Museum, was disheartened that there could be preachers who reject the young Earth belief. He's quoted as saying that when Christians agree with the world that they can accept man's fallible dating methods to interpret God's word, they agree with the world that the Bible can't be trusted. They essentially send out the message that man, by himself, independent of revelation, can determine truth and impose this on God's word. Once this door has been opened regarding Genesis, ultimately it can happen with the rest of the Bible. Well, we can only hope, Ken. Orthodox Christians celebrate the Epiphany all around the world. On January 18th, millions of Orthodox Christians assembled all over the world as part of their yearly celebration of the Epiphany. For example, there was a very large gathering at the Jordan River, at a site near Jericho, where they believed John the Baptist baptized Jesus Christ. Meanwhile, in Moscow, 90,000 believers took part in a ritual polar bear dip in the local frozen waters under the supervision of 1,700 police officers and volunteers. According to Orthodox Christians, all the water on earth becomes holy during the Epiphany, and people who take part in the ceremonial swims can become healed both physically and spiritually. However, the icy waters of some rivers proved too frigid for some people. In Moscow, two women had to be rescued as one of them sank like a stone while the other fainted while bathing. I'm Zonstar, and that's all the news for today. Come back to us on Monday for more news for the damned.